Hello, my name is Dominic Underhall House and welcome to another episode of Moonraker. In today's episode, I wanted to try out a new list. So, I have been playing a lot of Mike Stilio list, the attrition list that I played for a few videos. I am aware people are going to want to see a bit of variety here, so I've gone with something a little bit different for this one. I'm probably going back to Extilior as well, just to have a look. But I wanted to try out Astra. So Astra is not something we've seen much of recently, because she's lost a bit of power uh, in terms of both attack and also her ability usage, but also she's changed a little bit as well. So whenever she draws, destroys a crew or Cinder Sphere, refresh her move. So it can be really useful for getting into interesting positioning spots, because you can potentially destroy a cinder sphere, move again, you know, get that extra bit of mobility out of her. And Into the Breach now only refreshes the movement abilities of the next allied crew Astra touches this turn, so it's no longer refreshing attacks, which is the interesting part. So the last thing is cinder spheres, if I remember rightly, I'm fairly confident, I can't see it here, but I think cinder spheres now go from one to three cinder immediately. So that really incentivizes an ability heavy list, and so that's what we've gone with. So our list today, uh, two drops, so we're going to start out with Stitching with Patchy and Nuisance. We've got Detonia as a nice solid three drop there. We've got Axel Pyro and Fixer. Uh, so Fixer's another three drop, also generates Cinder, something we're going to want in the late game. We've got Aria hidden back here, just as a really useful tool. Aria's just fantastic for playing the game. Uh, I can't really do lists without her very often, she's fantastic. We've got uh, Antios here, who basically with Astra could potentially double activate meaning that you could get all the way up to uh, 8 additional attacks, so 9 damage in one activation. It will cost us 6 Cinder, but hopefully we'll be able to st stack some up. Uh, we've got Zapper and Enki, which just... The last few times I've seen this has been an absolute powerhouse. Pulls everything in, smashes them for 6, and if they try and do anything next turn, they take damage. It's absurd. Peacemaker Balam, really powerful in the format. We think it's actually going to work quite well with Zapper and Enki if we can get the two together, because if we pull them all in, they're going to then be ranged to stun, stun multiple things, and by the time our next turn comes around, an Enki will be unstunned again. And lastly, Reti Wrangler Mar, the nuke. We haven't got to use the full ability yet of Reti plus laser, and we'll give that a go, hopefully, in one of these games. So, for now, I'm just going to jump into a game and see what we can do. If you're enjoying... Actually, I'll have to have a quick look at the leaderboard. 52. Eh, same as I was previously. If you're enjoying the content, please do remember to hit that subscribe button first of all. You can like the videos, you can drop a comment. I've had some really lovely comments recently that have been really encouraging. So, more of those the better. Or if you really want to support the channel, there is the Patreon in the description down below. And that would mean a lot to me as well. But for now, I'll see you once we get in the game. Okay, we have found ourselves a game. We're against Tevzo11, a level 3 Extilior player. So if we win this, we do get to rank up, which will be kind of awesome. We didn't manage to last time, but we'll give it a go this time. Uh, Extilio being the best captain at the moment, and I think Astra statistically might be the weakest. I still find it funny that we've got scenario name scenario at the top. So we'll have to see what we can do with our resources here. Like Maybe this could have been a good list for things like Florio, who can make really good use of the, uh, the ambush ability and things like that. Let's see what we can do. So, I'm just going to move forward. I'm actually going to grow Cinder as far forward as I can. How far? So, I believe I can just move to the other side of this. And then, may as well deploy Nuisance if there's anywhere we can get a good angle. Was that 25%? Anything up here? No. So, is it worth it or do we just save it? Honestly, dropping a 4-drop next turn seems awesome, so we're just going to save it. Especially if no we can potentially just... The if they move forward, we might be able to jump forward and get like a, an Aria out or an Axel Pyro. We might be able to get onto the objective. More... You, I actually really like the, the new changes in terms of saving leadership. It seems like a really good idea a lot of the time. Okay, so what's their play? Broken Vengeance. They missed anyway, which is nice, so now this is going to generate 3 no resources. So I believe now we should be able to just chew our way up here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some science. Let's see how far forward we get to move for stealing the Cinder Sphere. Because obviously we now get to go again. How close can we get to just? I want to go as close as possible to Broken Vengeance here. So that 85 is the best we can get. Can we drop a melee unit in range? No idea. Okay, that's good to know. So the question is, what do we do about this? It might be... So I think we're going to drop another Cinder Sphere Don't back worry. here. The just try and protect it. And we're going to go with... Let's go with Tonia just through this terrain so it's harder for her to hit. We want to make sure she's on the objective though. So 
here looks about as hard for them to hit the crackback as possible while still being in range. So I'll just go for this and hope we don't get hit back. He did hit us back, unfortunately. Um, oh, I mean, we could just go for nuisance, actually. We can't get quite onto exterior, so let's just let's just be a nuisance. Let's shoot that. Uh, we don't have any into the breach things to do. Oh, we should have done that on Tetonia. We could have gone twice. What a fool. That could have been so much more damage. We could have nearly killed Broken Vengeance here. Okay, so they're going to deploy over there. Yeah, we get the shield. That's fine. Four doesn't really make a difference. Four health doesn't make a difference to us here. They've got a few less resources. We've got, again, Aria or Axel Pyro next turn. So we... Like, the good thing with Tetonia is you might be able to hide out of line of sight and throw bombs. Okay, so who's going to guaranteed miss? They need to make that over here, yeah. Nuisance is the correct pick. Broken Vengeance, anything that they do is going to start dealing damage to themselves, which is nice. And moving into this little section, yeah, I guess that's a shield going down to two already. So we might be able to just double Axel Pyro next turn, Your turn. which should be quite you nice. Have a one point lead. So this is 0% hit, we might as well take it. Uh, we could try and take that point away from it. It doesn't do anything right now. So what if we just... What if we Axel twice? So if we just say go... Is this light cut us off? Go, sorry, yeah. So let's Axel here. Again, we want to hold points. Fire Flame are both of these. But we don't really want to move, so let's actually bring Detonia up here to stop us moving. So fire flamer here. Well done, Captain. You have a clear point advantage. We'll pop. Oh no, we actually messed this up. So we need to pop here because we need to lob explosive first. Then we need to enter the breach. Oh no, we've got one damage. Oh. Yeah, we can still enter the breach here. Just lob another explosive. Tony can go and hide. And we'll pop a Cinder Sphere down over here. And to be honest, Nuisance I may as well just go over here. Uh, we'll stay here for now. Just hide over here slightly. No, we're good. Send the turn. We've got a really good lead on our opponent here. So we could have tried to put pressure onto this, but I don't think we're going to get there. So what we're going to try and do is just kill enough units next turn. So this is obviously their area. So their area is going to come and kill our Tetonia, which is fine. We could miss. No, they're not as unlucky as I am. I'm the only one that misses those shots, apparently. So here we can actually double activate and use Antios potentially to kill uh, over here. What's interesting about this is there may be a world in which we could just sneak over and take that objective from them. Um, are you using this after the fact is interesting. So... We, like I can say, I feel like we just go for that and then just hide. I don't know what we want to do this end of the battlefield. We can't hit anything. We can kill over here, so we're going to pop over here. Pop over here. Uh, we'll get... Yeah. Uh, oh no, we're not going to be quite in range, are we? because we can't quite get into melee range. Oh my goodness. Okay, here's a question. If we pop a Cinder Sphere down, can we pop it now and move again? I'm not actually sure. We can. Okay, interesting. So if we pop Antios... Oh, there is actually a way to get here anyway. So if Antios just inner energies, then we enter the breach, then we inner energy, then we go for the big boom. Superb work, and we just Captain. stay nice we and safe back here. To win. And then we can move back up again because we destroyed the Cinder Sphere. For Go for a random pot shot, might as well. Okay, so the opponent's going to get that, and then turn. if they you want to, they can probably kill lead. Nuisance. But then we can just... Yeah, so they're going for that. They're ignoring the point for now. And then they're going to spin. So that's all their resources got, which is nice for us. But we don't really have anything coming out now. It could be that we want, uh, I don't know, Aria maybe, just Aria Fixer? Okay, with that coming out, we almost definitely want Aria. 
So, does this refresh your movement? You have a three point lead. It does. It's so, wow. if we go... Okay, so how far can this move forward? I think we might be able to get into range here. So if we just come over, is there any way we can get a decent angle ourselves? 37 is the best we're going to get, I think. So into the breach here. There we go. Get the fire flamer going and try and protect ourselves as well. That should take them out of three. Which means that we can just place Arya down. I mean, to be honest, how far can Exilion move? Not that far. So if we just go somewhere like here, we're very likely to hit this. 94. Get the kill. And because we want... We do want additional resources next turn, so I'm going to pop Stitchy down on here in case they try and ambush it in some way, shape or form. And we're just going to move back this way. Just because this way we've got access to Reti Wrangler Mar to go do lasers next turn. So yeah, we've left them just out of range. They can clear this off. That's fine. We should have maybe gone a little further away. But they can't melee at least. But they could play like a hit and run or something. Or there's plenty of options just to kill this unit. But then we're going to basically tug of war our way back to four. And anything they play, if we can kill it, we win the game. And to be honest, we're going to be trying to do that with Reti Wrangler Mar. Tipu! Everybody loves Tipu. So that's... Tipu has nine. I don't know how Reti Wrangler Mar is going to work here, but I'm going to try it. I don't, I don't actually know how the first ability even works. Oh, they didn't kill it. They didn't have enough resources. Uh, well, our opponent actually played quite well there. Considering they had a yeah, relatively new account, that was a good amount of effort to put in. So, well played to our opponent. We do get our first ever real promotion from bronze up to silver. There we go. I'm really keen to see what they do with like, rewards for ranked mode and things like that in the future. I think that will be really interesting. But, Tebzo, thank you so much for playing. I really do appreciate you being my opponent. Uh, it was a really good game. Ooh, loads of level ups. We've got what, Fixer, Nuisance, Reti Ranglamar, and Zaparinenki. So, lots of progress there. Any portraits? You know, four, four, three. So, we get Reti Ranglamar now. And Zaparinenki is a little way to go yet. And if anyone's interested, here's our opponent's sister. Ooh, we have Crash to deal with later on. So, there we have it. A really fun little uh, you introductory game for you trying this new list. We'll probably do a few more as well. If you enjoyed it, I'd love to hear your opinion on the list. You, what would you like to change? What would you want to do differently? Do you think Florio lives in here? Especially that question. Does Florio belong in this list and what would you change? If you've enjoyed it, please do like, comment, subscribe, join on Patreon, anything you do to support this lovely channel. I promise we're lovely people here. I say we, it's just me. But for now, thank you so much for watching. And most importantly, have a good day.